Hey there, my name is Ricky Benzino, <laughs> aka Nail Gene, like the water bottle. Do you know why they call me that? Why? Because I'm, un un I'm unbreakable. I carry a big load. I'm gonna nail my jeans in you. <laughs> Keep it fresh, boys. <laughs> nail Gene out. Porch like mom's not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. All right, what's up guys, we're back. Uh, this video is going to be detailing my final week in Bogota, Colombia with the Yale Magic Society on the Magicians Without Borders trip. Sorry I'm talking so fast, but I really just want to get to this video because it's super long. This trip meant a lot to me. I got to perform a lot of great magic, got to work with a great group of kids and put on a show at the end of the week. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Our first full day in Bogota, and uh, look who joined us. Hey, I was Diego here from Costa Rica. I, I was uh, honored to have these guys, these amazing guys, in Costa Rica last year to do uh, also a social tour with the Young Magic Society and Magicians Better With Borders. Like now I'm here with the Josh Bisley. <laughs> Be jealous, guys. <laughs> um, what are you eating, Jake? Jake, can I just yeah. it's the so Lulo. This is Lulo, which is a local fruit. And they made a juice that is delicious and contains a lot of the actual pieces of the fruit in it. It's very sweet, sour, kind of halfway between like an orange juice and a lemonade. It's delicious. Come on. Where'd you get your poncho? I got it in, I don't know what the place is called. But yeah, they were handcrafted apparently, so super nice. Han is practically quality. Colombian at this point. I should, we should just be asking him for directions. No. <laughs> no se. Oh, it's time for me to spend all my money. That's us. Josh, you are here. Have you seen it? Um, the Yale Magic Society is going to perform in Bogota. You have advertisement. It's huge. It's huge. We are blowing up. You don't even know we are this big now. They can't stop us. The world can't stop us. We are changing the world. midway between the heavens and the earth. Yeah, we've uh, we've slipped our earthly bonds and are free to wander among the ha soundless halls of air. It's pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> Yell education for you. Yeah. <laughs> Words. <laughs> I just ate cow intestines. It's good. It's real tasty. I like it. Right there. Yeah, I do too. I want to try the lungs, but, uh, yeah. you, but I don't want to. Um, does he take not really a fan. Uh, so, we just finished up over at uh, the summit and uh, we had some uh, a la hombres. The, the cheesy bread from Colombia. Really good, I love it. Favorite, one of my favorite foods here. We're heading back down the trolley system right now. Uh, as you can see, the live show is going on. Luckily, we caught it during the New Year's celebration, a little lighting up. And uh, yeah, we're about to have a ride. Yeah. She was cute as hell. Eh? No, she was so like that. No, she's so cute. Oh my lord. Look at her. She's a beauty. Oh god. That sounds seriously a bad. 
She was a wonderful woman. Great personality. We had a great time during our first couple days in Colombia. We got to climb Montserrat, as you saw, and begin working with the group of kids there in Bogota. And then we got a very special treat. I don't know if you have any of you magicians, hopefully some of the magicians that are subscribed to this channel will actually know who this name is because he is one of the best magicians in the entire world, Luis Otero. He's actually from Venezuela, but he was living in Colombia at the time and came and taught a full morning magic lecture to like literally just the Magicians Without Borders workers that were there on the trip. And let me tell you, Luis Otero is a phenomenal magician. Maybe I'll throw up some clips or something so of him performing right now, but what a guy. What a presentation, and I, I literally learned so much, and it just makes me want to go out there, and uh, it inspired me so much. I love meeting magicians that I look up to, and Luis Otero was no exception. After his workshop, we actually took a bus about an hour up into kind of the slums of Bogota to work with the, the Magicians Without Borders kids, and the whole plan was we each partnered up with a kid. We kind of worked on a routine together throughout that week, and then at the end of the week, we rented out a massive theater and put on a great show for all of Bogota. And her voice and her way that she loved me. Well, her eyes and her smile and her belt and her hands very much. I am the thesis of her prayers. Her nieces and her nephews are just pieces of her neighbors. The one she loves as much as me is Jesus Christ the Savior. I got a little song singing for my grandma. You sing it too, but your grandma ain't my grandma. My handmade, pan fried, sun dried, south side. Bogota has grown on me, I have to say. I got my stay here. Get in here, Nick. How crazy Hello. is this? Is this is insane. Yeah, uh, muy bonita. Hold on. We're going. Yeah. We're going to Andres, very popular restaurant, dance bar, club. and dance club. Four stories. Yeah, it's like four stories high. It's really cool, really chill. It's a place to be. Where's uh, Diego? We need Diego. Yeah. And my friend Anna Maria suggested it and Crips and Waffles. We Who's Anna Maria? The chick I met on the Where's airplane. Diego? On the airplane? Yeah. And you got her Instagram, right? She yeah. wrote it on your own? Yeah, oh, she's yeah. really no cool. big deal. Uh huh. Yo, we friend on So as you guys saw, we always had to make the most of our time in Colombia and have a little fun. So uh, we did we did go out a couple nights, and it's it's all it's always fun. We had fun at the clubs in Costa Rica, and the Colombian clubs were phenomenal as well. The one you saw that we were at is like three fours, and like huge, and yeah, I don't know, it was a good time. And uh, then we had our final day in Bogota. So we actually grabbed all the kids, we bussed them into downtown Bogota, had dinner or lunch at like a fancy pizza restaurant. Um, and some of the kids that like never would have had an opportunity to go to like a restaurant like that before and uh, then we we bust them to the show and we began rehearsing and finally Finally, we performed our routines that we've been working on all week with the kids and man It was an incredible experience kind of just using magic as a way to kind of break that language barrier because I don't speak that much Spanish I only speak French um, so it was kind of cool to like use magic as a universal language to not only connect with these kids but connect with all the citizens of Bogota like decided to come to the final show and uh, the turnout was amazing the show was amazing and overall was a great way to cap off the trip in Colombia <laughs> Showtime? Showtime, let's do it. I went to bed late. I had no idea. It was not
world. Great show, great show, great show. Can we just say, Josh Beasley, it was a freaking great show, okay? Yeah. Here's the thing. Let me just go right to the chase. You killed it, the audience is great, everyone loves each other, and that is... Yeah, I, guess, I almost cried. I almost cried yes. when my guy left. Dude, oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Thank you, shout out to Carlos. Follow him on Instagram. Jake can, uh, Josh can link it. But that dude made all this possible. And yeah, we love him to death. Uh, oh! There you go. How'd the show go? The show was amazing. Josh Beasley killed it. Uh, there was Jake also performing. He did like amazing. Get, get, get the, the trio in here. The trio, yeah. It's not a duo anymore, guys. Yeah, it's not a duo. Sing the song, sing the song. Yeah, uh, mi amigo Josh and mi amigo Jake. We vamos a desayunar un pancake. There will be, we're gonna have some breakfast as a pancake, but we're mostly having for lunch friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Barely any battery left, okay, so go, okay. go, it's recording. You wanna do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Hold up. Wait, 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 w